Hey guys, I think this is the first time I'm on mic, so a bit nervous. So please bear with me, guys. We are almost near the end of the game, so let me see. So we have Micah's mission, Sadie's mission, okay, Sadie's mission and, and Penelope Braithwaite, Edith Downs, um, I'll do that stranger mission like uh, later on. But that is an interesting strange mission. We'll head to Saint Denis. So guys, I don't have a dedicated mic. I just want to inform you guys. Ah. So I will be getting a mic soon. Until then, the rules and mic can do. Today is the day they are going to hang Colm O'Driscoll. That's uh, so. Either they hang him or I shoot him. Oh, they are gonna hang him. Yeah, and not before time. That boy's been on the gallows more than most. I wouldn't count anything until his neck's broke. Well, nor would I. Which is why, despite us being wanted men, we're gonna attend the event ourselves. And follow him onto the scaffold? Well, let's hope not. But if I could see that son of a bitch breathe his last, I think I'd die a happy man. We are going to disguise ourselves. In this? In this. Okay. Come on. Well, don't we just look the part? We'll cut through the alley to get to the gallows. Keep our weapons holstered, our disguises on, and our wits about us. Mrs. Adler, might I say, being a fancy woman of San Denis shoots you. Huh. I'd dress up like the Queen of Sheba if it meant seeing that son of a bitch swing. Come <laughs> hung me up. They nearly butchered me. I don't mean I'm comfortable in this woolen coat. You made it out of that predicament, as I remember, Mr. Morgan. My husband weren't so lucky. You lost your husband. I lost my darling Annabelle. That poor boy, Kieran. We've all lost something because of Cone. And that is why we will shepherd him to eternity. Amen to that. Now keep those fingers off those triggers, because we'll need cool heads and calm dispositions to see this done. Practice what you preach, brother. Whatever do you mean? Are you gonna keep your cool? Really? When you seem to lose it all so often now. This doubting and questioning of yours? I miss the old Arthur. Don't we all? You two quit it. Y'all got a job to do. And we're all in rough agreement about how we're doing it. As far as I can tell. Exactly. We'll get it done, all right. All right then. Come on. We gotta hang the witness. Look here. Don't the public love an execution? Hey. All right. Good. 
Now, you see that pair of assholes? Sure. The Combs boys. Yes, I think so. <laughs> Surprise. I'm glad. What are they pointing at? We gotta follow them and find out. Yeah. Oh, here comes somebody. <clears throat> Stay here. Don't do nothing. Go brush that horse, Just officer. Yes, sir. The crowd came to see a show. We don't want to disappoint them. I guess they did miss their chance to see John swing by his neck. Hey, hey, you know I wasn't going to let it come to that. I guess I don't know what I know no more. And I guess this isn't the time to question either my decisions or yours. Here and now, Colm O'Driscoll's going to get his due. He's cutting in there. We had to have our wits about us and move fast. Yeah, I guess we faced worse than this before. Sure. Let's get to it. Yeah. So, they got a guy up on the roof overlooking the gallows. Find a way up there onto one of these verandas, through a building maybe, and get him. And do it silently. Well, obviously, I'm going to do it silently. I want to see this bastard swing. Can I go this way? Is it possible? No. Here's the ladder. Yeah. Okay. Be tried. This is a place where your sentence is to be carried out, and your sentence, Colmo Driscoll, is that you are to be. 
be hanged by the neck until you are dead. Okay. It is not a task we take lightly. It is not a task we enjoy. Bye, son of a bitch. Must carry out okay. if our civilization is prosperous. <laughs> nice. Gentlemen, are we ready? Call Modrisco. May God, in his infinite wisdom, have mercy upon your soul. Oh. Uh. Whenever you are ready. <laughs> Need Bastard, hang okay, but I'm Mary Beth. No thing ain't gonna save us. I guess that's one less thing to worry about. I guess compared to the entire government, in the end, right? Driscoll didn't seem like such a worry. A letter came for you. Oh, okay, I know it's from that Mary. Mary, she ain't worth it, Arthur. Who is? My dear Arthur, you never showed up, and now, after looking at the newspapers, I understand why. I don't imagine you'll receive this letter, but I nonetheless must send it. Arthur. Oh, Arthur. I was just starting to dream the silliest and softest of dreams. I miss you, and I will always miss you. But I cannot live like that. And it seems you cannot live any other way. When I'm with you, the world makes sense. But when we are apart, I see clearly that your world is not a world from which one can escape. I'm so sorry for everything. For everything long ago and for starting up that business again. There's a good man within you, Arthur. But he is wrestling with a giant. And the giant wins time and again. You've broken my heart again. And I fear I have broken yours. And for that, I will never forgive myself. But you must let me go now. 
I enclose a ring you gave me many years ago when we were both young. Not because I don't like it, but because I care for it far too much and it reminds me too much of you. I hope one day you will find some people in love who can use this. For it kept me thinking of you all these years. And I hope by returning it to you, I can finally be free. Goodbye. Maybe. Goodbye, Mary. Bye. Third time lucky. Okay. This is the next mission. We'll go to the next mission. Micah. Eagle flies, rains fall. Rains fall. Huh. That's a nice one. I like green. This looks beautiful. The music also. Nice music. Where is Rain's Fall? I think he's inside this one. Hello? Come in. about peace apparently not did you have fun with my son the impetuous prince i believe you went on a raid with him um, uh, i'm sorry i suppose i lack the grandeur of a conventional king uh, i don't know too many kings colonel favors he's already exacted some measure of revenge for the raid Two women were assaulted by his men. Um, I'm very sorry about all of this. Yes. Sometimes the correct path, the bravest path, is the least obvious and also the gentlest. I'm... I'm a great disappointment to my son. Your son seems to want a war. My son thinks there is glory in death. Maybe he's right. But for me, I saw death being handed out so freely by the most foolish of men, I never could equate it with victory. Glory has come in service. Maybe. Maybe not, I don't know. I've killed a lot of people. For a whole lot of dumb reasons, and I ain't never seen much glory in it. Oh, my friend, Mr. Vanderlyn, he talks a lot. I don't know him, but my son is easily lit. I'm not sure I get you. Uh, well, perhaps we could go for a ride. I'm an old man. My whole life I have tried to bring peace. But uh, I ain't doing so good. Then maybe you can take pity on my plight. Please, it won't take long. <coughs> maybe I can help you with that cough. Sir! I'm glad I caught you, sir. Captain Monroe, do you know my friend, Mr. Morgan? No, sir. 
I don't have the pleasure. Arthur Morgan. It's an honor, sir. How can I help you, Captain? I was just in San Denis. I spoke with the mayor. It's not good news, I'm afraid. May I ride with you for a little? Of course. Follow me. So where are we going? I want to show you a site up in the mountains that's long been sacred to me. A place for reflection and healing. What is this news, Captain Munro? Yes, sir. As I mentioned, I did speak again with the mayor and the Bureau of Indian Affairs in Saint Denis at length. But regrettably, it appears the oil company has already received approval to move forward with drilling on the reservation's land. I suppose there's much. So what does that mean for us now? I'm not sure just yet. I didn't get the impression anything would be happening for a few months. I'm very sorry, sir. I did everything I could. I know, Captain. And I assure you I will continue to do as much as I can. Mr. Morgan, would you have time to help me at all? I would rather certain actions were taken by friends outside the tribe. Sure, I can help. That's good news. Thank you. Come meet me on the reservation whenever you can. Any assistance would be much appreciated, Mr. Morgan. Anyway, gentlemen, I won't take up any more... Oof. I won't take up any more of your time. I'll see you both soon. Sure! Thank you, Captain. Enjoy the ride. We'll continue on this way. I'm going to look for some herbs to give you. Ah. See the wolves over there feasting on that horse? Brutality and beauty are both all around us. Yet so often we're unable to see past our own grievances. This is what I try to teach my son. Good. There was no need to harm them. We can talk if you want, Mr. Morgan. But don't feel like you have to. It's a beautiful ride ahead if you need some time to think. How much you know about Dutch? A little. Mostly what Charles told me. For years. He was the best man I knew. But... He's been unraveling for some time now. And I ain't sure there's any going back at this point. It took a long time for me to learn that you could never change a person. We only become more who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Sorry, uh, hold up a moment. That'll have to wait. Some of the plants I need will be growing down here. I think that's a arrow. Dinsen? English mace. Oh. Okay. Let's continue on. So, you were saying we only become more of who we really are. Perhaps you see that with him. Just as I see it with my son. Dutch has got this crazy plan that if we create enough noise and chaos. We'll be able to escape and go somewhere far away where no one will find us. I worry a lot of folks are gonna get caught in the crossfire, including eagle flies. So what can we do? I ain't quite sure. Just wanted you to know the situation. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Let me give this some thought. Be careful. There are some steep turns up ahead. But the views are beautiful from up here.
Things that bad on a reservation? Yes. This conflict with Colonel Favors and his regiment at Fort Wallace continues to worsen. Many of the elders are sick, and the young feel that any compromise is an admittance of defeat. Well, we ain't done much to calm the situation. But I have to continue to... St Wait, stop here. I want to pick some ginseng. We can talk more about this later. <laughs> this will combine well. Wow. Whoa. further now so you was just talking about something but i have to continue to seek to resolve matters through okay. peaceful negotiation you're going in the wrong way wait war would be futile your people are lucky to have you i'm not so sure about that naturally monroe how you know him Captain Monroe was reassigned here from a regiment in the north. Apparently, the news of our conflict has spread all the way to Washington. He's a good man. He wants to help. Well, I guess that's something, at least. The army aren't all bad men. Just as my people aren't all good. But this Colonel Favors, he walks an old line. He's obstinate, and he hates Monroe. I just hope between us we can... Work this out. Just up ahead. What's happened? No! It can't be. No! They destroyed everything! No, I need to find the Chinupa. Who? Who would do this? Someone who wanted to enrage you. Help me look around, please. The Chinupa is gone. Of course. What is it? A uh, ceremonial pipe. There must be some clues to what happened here. There's some whiskey here. Okay, let's continue on. It's ruined.
empty bottle of whiskey. Well, if they drank all that, no, they couldn't like have gotten too far. Some drinking. What the heck? Think I see an army camp. Oh, there they are. These brave men. Some of Colonel Favor's men. They must have been the ones who did this. Are you surprised this happened? Not at all. But... But I hope we were past this. Well, you got land they want. Land with oil. They moved us here. They've taken everything we had. I signed three treaties myself, and they've broken each one. Now they've taken the last hope. She seemed nice enough. An Indian? Sure looked like one. I'm up near the Canadian border someplace. Canada? They got Indians in Canada. Tons of them. And French folk, too. No. No. France is near...
Guess it was nothing. I want to do this in stealth, but unable to do it.
Here, I, uh, I got your things, I, I think. Yes, thank you. I'm very sorry about this. Even sacred things are only things. People, the heart, not anymore. Was anyone hurt? Yes. It's a bad business. I should not have let you do this for me. But perhaps it will stop a bigger massacre. With these, maybe I can calm my people. Maybe I can calm my son. I hope so. Thank you. Take those herbs I gave you, please. And most of all, I hope you can find peace within yourself. So long ago, I would have found weak and pathetic. Now I see as wise and thoughtful and sensible. And I would love to help him, or at least stop Dutch pushing his son to do something real stupid. Hmm. I tried. Anyway, guys, thank you so much. That's it for the video. See you later. Bye. Please do subscribe. Thank you.